As you have, uh, as you all know, that I have started a, a video series, a hand-on training about in silico vaccine designing. So this is the part ten. Is uh, I will give you a quick recap about it. So I have started the video series from the first, from the very beginning, in which I have given you the introduction about the in entire course, the methodology. After that, uh, the video, the uh, it was started in from the data retrieval and the data mining. After that, we perform homology check, B cell epitope prediction, B cell epitope prediction in the form of MHC2 and MHC1. After that, epitopes were prioritized. After that, it was the final vaccine construct. And in the last video, I have discussed the immune simulation. And in today's video, as we have got the sequence, so now we will predict the structure. So if you, you are interested in this course, so just start the video series from the very first. It will help you in, in your projects if you are uh, if you are uh, doing BS, bachelor's or MS. So uh, people are doing, students are doing these such type of projects, okay? And if you want my assistance, so just give, throw an email, I will assist you in this type of projects, okay? So here is the part 10. Uh, let's start with the, uh, practical okay so and uh, this was the entire methodology okay i was discussing in the previous videos okay so for structure prediction in the last video we have got the amino acid sequence okay this was our vaccine candidate sequence okay so you should have an amino acid sequence so this was the amino acid sequence basically it is 668 amino residues it is having 668 residues so for structure prediction there are different tools that are used for structure prediction. So the best tool to use uh, for structure prediction is basically the ITSR tool, okay? So this tool go use Karnai because it gives you a lot of information about your protein, okay? So just go to the Google, or type ITSR, click on the first link. So this such type of platform will appear, will appear in front of you people, okay? So what will you do? Just paste your, uh, amino acid sequence in FASTA format, okay? They have shown you that uh, from 10 to 1500 res residues, you can accept it, okay? And I'm telling you that uh, your amino, your uh, your vaccine should not exceed 1500 residues, okay? So what will we do? We will just paste uh, the our amino acid sequence. Where was it? It was here, okay? So just copy it from here, after that, uh, go to the server, paste it here. So keep in mind, it is about, in, it is in the FASTA format. In the, and in the FASTA format, you have to uh, insert this type of bracket. After that, just write vaccine candidate, okay? And for, after that, just uh, paste your amino acid sequence, okay? And then uh, run ITSR. Okay, a very much important uh, point I want to tell you that uh, this platform, this software need, uh, basically need an educational institutional email, okay? As I'm having an institutional email, so just type it here. After that, give the password and run ideas. Okay, I'm using it. Uh, I have used this this software very much time, okay? And if you're using it for the first time, so when you are using it, so they will uh, they will ask you for your institutional email, okay? It does not rely on the personal email. They will not give you the results about it, okay? So you have educational institutional email ko, uh, insert karna hai. After that, they will send you a special type of code, okay? Ek toh, jab aapko institutional email diya jata hai, hai, toh, aap, uh, saath saath aapko ek specific code bhi diya jata hai. Wo code idhar kaam nahi kya is email pe aapko is uh, jo is address pe aapko a special type of i tesser ki taraf se code milega theek hai you you when you get that that code in your email so then, then uh, just type your educational email then give that that password the uh, that password that i tesser have provided to you 
after that just optional give it a specific type of uh, specific name and run itsr okay so it will take about five to six days minimum four days and maximum uh seven days this uh, uh this software will take to give you the results okay so because it take time it take time because it give you a lot of reason a lot of prediction a lot of properties about your uh structure okay it does not give you uh, only the, the the predicted structure okay so if uh, uh, i show you the reason that how you will understand the reason so just uh, click here view an example of it as an output this is the reason okay for example this was our amino acid sequence so this was the submitted sequence in fasta format and this is not our sequence basically but i'm just uh, explaining the reason how you will get your reasons and how you will then write it in your research papers or pieces that what does this mean so the first thing there that this uh, software gives you the predicted secondary structure okay so well basically what is a predicted secondary structure it gives you the coil part the helix part and the strand part of your uh, of your structure okay and here is the threshold value okay so if it is uh, uh it is the this is the confidence uh, the confidence score so the higher the confidence score the the, the best is the reason or the predicted reasons okay so this portion basically this portion of your uh, protein is well, consists of the helix part this is the coil part so this is uh, either it is not animated but uh, it is not that graphical form but it it gives you information okay after that predictive solvent accessibility okay predictive solvent accessibility show you that either your uh, how much your protein is interacting with the solvent part of uh, the watery part of the uh, the solvent part okay so here is the uh, the zero show you the buried residues and if it is increased from zero to nine so these are the high highly exposed red, residues okay so just look here this uh, this uh, this uh, lysine uh, this uh, basically this glycine okay this glycine has zero value so this means that this this four one two three four five this fifth glycine basically it is the it is the buried residue okay it cannot be get access to the uh, solvent okay now here is uh, when the score is getting riser so it means that uh, the these portion are now getting access to the solvent okay so it is very much simple you can uh, easily understand it okay so from here you can uh, tell that which residues is exposed and which residues is not exposed okay there are other tools that can give you the predicted solvent accessibility in the form of graphs and the and other animated pictures but here is also a bit useful information also now here is the predicted normalized beta factor what does this mean it show you that how much each residue of your protein is uh, is uh, is deforming is deforming this means that ye kehta hai ye software predict karta hai jab aapka jo protein hai when your protein um, is in the inside the cell and there are other such type of uh, other components so how much each residues interact with that uh, that other structures okay wo apni jagah se kitna zyada hilta hai theek hai how much it is displacing from its original position theek hai wo random vibration or random movement kitna karta hai theek hai to ye dekhiye ye ek threshold hai zero threshold hai agar isse upar jata hai bahut zyada upar jata hai to aapki jo structure hai usme deformability bahut zyada aayegi theek hai Each and every residue जो है वो ज्यादा मूवमेंट करेगा बाहर की तरफ अंदर की तरफ ठीक है और अगर इसमें एक खास तरह का रिदम है ठीक है तो मूवमेंट तो हर रेजिड्यूज के लिए जरूरी है ठीक है वेन दे आर नॉट वेन दे आर वेन दे आर मूविंग सो दे विल इंटरेक्ट विद अदर Uh, they will uh, react with the other type of uh, components okay lekin agar wo bilkul stable honge to aapka protein hi stable ho jayega theek hai stable uh, wo interact hi nahi karega theek hai to ye bhi ek bahut zyada zaruri hai isko beta factor bhi kehte hain normalized beta factor is called deformability factor bhi kehte hain theek hai to ye aapko sikhata hai theek hai ki i each and every residues how much it is uh, deforming okay after that it is top 10 threading template okay what does this means 
I am not getting into the detail of it, but uh, you all should know that each and every software work on a special type of algorithm. Okay, so when the software was predicting your protein structure, so they were using this uh, different type of template, and these are the templates. Okay, they were uh, they were just uh, uh, using these amino acid sequence to to predict the actual structure of your uh, protein. Okay, so these templates were used now. Top five, this is our basic result, okay? So this, uh, uh, basically, these are the top five uh, structures. You can get it here, top one model, top two model, okay? So the lowest the C score, the, the best will be the structure, okay? I'm not uh, uh, sure about it, uh, which type of formulas and statistical parameter are used, but uh, we, we were thought that the lowest the C value, the better the result, okay? The better the structure, okay? So you can download it from here. So uh, these are the structures, okay? So after that, protein structure close to the target PDB, okay? Now, in this research, may, um, uh, yes, software aapko predict karta hai ke the proteins that are already available in the PDB uh, uh, server the PDB uh, database the protein uh, the database server so basically your protein is show resemblance to it okay so this was the first uh, protein that is uh, showing 0 0.9 uh, score of resemblance okay so if you go to the PDB and just type this uh, code and when you get the structure so it will be not totally uh, oh, totally resemblance to the your protein but it uh, it have resemblance okay up to 80 percent 90 percent it is showing resemblance okay so you can just check the alignment you can check the confidence score you can also you can download the protein from here okay so this is also a better type of useful information you can just uh, share your disinformation in your project and your research paper okay so after that, predicted function using cofactor, they have also shown me that which type of cofactor can be bind to your, uh, your predicted protein structure, okay? So I'm not getting into the detail, but uh, this is also a bit useful information, okay? That this is the site where the cofactor can be, uh, the, the ligands can be, can be bind, okay? And this is the ligands, these are the ligands names, okay? And these are the location, the amino acid residues of, of your protein to which the ligands can be bind, okay? So this is also very much important. Now, enzyme commission number, I'm not very much sure about this prediction, that what basically this means, so I'm not getting into the detail of it. And here, are, and the last is the gene ontology term. ये क्या बोलता है? यही बोलता है कि आपका जो प्रोटीन है, it इसका सेलुलर फंक्शन, इसका इसका बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस एंड इसका मॉलिक्यूलर फंक्शन कैसा? They they predict that what basically your protein can perform, where it lies, which type of biological process it can be involved in. And which type of uh, molecular function can it perform? Okay, so it is also predicted. Okay, so here you can get the information, in, uh, but it is predicted. Okay, it is not 100% accurate. And there are different type of uh, tools from where you can uh, get this information. But here they they have given you. Okay, so they, you can directly use it from here. But uh, cutting uh, the story short, you just need this this these results. So just click here and download your model again and then view it in different type of tools okay now uh, as i have told you that this software gives you results in basically uh four to seven days okay so if you're having an amino acid sequence lesser than 400 amino uh, sequence if you're having a sequence and it consists of 400 amino acid or less than 400 so just use this software because it gives you the results in just one and hour okay so just uh, type scratch prediction uh, structure prediction tool and then click on the uh, the second uh, link and this will appear okay just give your email here it does it does not require the educational email so you can you give your personal email uh, write the name and give this sequence in the faster format after that uh, just click on the tertiary structure and submit it so it will give you only the the structure the predicted structure of your protein it will it will not give you the entire other type of information okay so this information can be can, you can get this these all information from other tools also in less than an hour so why not use that one but if your protein have an amino acid uh, amino acid residues of 
400 or less than so use this one if you are not having uh, if you you are uh, i mean your sequence uh, exceed 400 residues so then you will use rtsl okay so this was all about the video video that uh, what is basically uh, how you will predict the structure and a uh, so little bit information that if you get the structure okay so how you will visualize it okay so how you will visualize it i'm going to show you a small uh so different software for example if this is the your structure okay so you can just right click it if for structure visualization three best softwares are used by vdr discovery studio pymol and ucsf chimera UCSF Chimera is basically the the most uh, not the popular one, but it can be easily used for the beginners. Okay, and uh, the if you are have involved in a course for, in bioinformatics and you are the beginner, so use this UCSF Chimera. Discovery Studio and Pymol are for the intermediate and the expert levels. Okay, so if you can click on the UCSF Chimera and if you you have downloaded the structure, so after that uh, uh, this will appear. Okay, so okay so this is the structure okay although this is not the actual structure but uh, this is the structure and you can do different type of other analysis i will show you in the later we later video that what does the, uh, how you will use chimera how you will use discovery studio and how you will use pymol in my opinion pymol is the best and discovery studio is also the best so try to get tutorials from uh, for these softwares, okay. I will in the later videos I will show you that how you will use these uh, softwares, okay. These tools. In the next video I will show you the structure refinement. After there's st uh, stability analysis of your protein, protein, protein docking, cordon optimization, and silico cloning. So stay tuned and just subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends. So so in order to get the entire course, okay. So then you can uh, you can use uh, these so videos for your projects and uh, you these videos will help you a lot, okay. So subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Thank you very much. God God bless you. Thank you.